Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and the Fan. Excuse me, Mr. Lighting and a Fan. And yes, the fan is on. Right now the time is approximately 8.22 p.m. And the date is Saturday, July 27th, 2019. The sun is in Leo, sign of the lioness. And the moon is waning in Gemini. So, first let me acknowledge my newest YouTube channel subscribers. They are... I hope I'm pronouncing your first name correctly. Genevieve, or Genevieve Toro Mejia. Latina. And KSW. I must admit, I'm intrigued by KSW. Because what does the K stand for? What does the S stand for? What does the W stand for? Very intrigued. Anyway, um, so welcome to the YouTube channel of Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch. And I'm very excited because, um, well, I'm excited for a lot of reasons. Uh, first, I want to talk a little bit about something that I have had in my mind for a while. So, um, as some of you know, I love the different online workshops that are offered by Mother House of the Goddess. And I'm currently participating technically in three, officially in two, uh, of their ongoing courses. Um, but I love that Mother House of the Goddess, and specifically Kimberly Moore, who is the living goddess who founded Mother House of the Goddess, has been offering these free online guided meditations from time to time. And she's been averaging about one a month. So a few months ago, she led one. And it's funny because um, it was one that invoked Tara. Now the Taras are my understanding of the Taras is that they are the mothers of all the Buddhas. But Tara is a goddess that I don't work with that often. And I remember it was the day of the guided meditation with Tara. This was back in March or April. And it was in honor of the vernal equinox that I also remember. That the great goddess spoke to me and gave me an idea. Now. For the record, I'd wanted to do this for a long time, and for whatever reason or reasons, I never did. But now, I'm going to start doing this, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So, for a long time, I had been divinely guided to lead goddess circles, and I think it's safe to say that I always resisted it, because in my mind, I would think to myself, well, nobody's going to participate in a goddess circle led by a man. What nonsense. And part of me knew it was nonsense, I just didn't like acknowledge it as nonsense. But it was clear to me a few months ago that it was nonsense. So beginning officially on beginning officially on Monday, August 9th, no, I'm sorry, Monday, September 9th, 2019, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I am going to offer monthly goddess circles. And what I was divinely guided to do was offer them once a month. Um, I actually had sent uh, a preliminary email back in... You know, I forgot when it was. I want to say it was sometime in April or May. And I had sent it to several people, uh, specifically people who had participated in my goddess circles in the past or rather my two previous goddess, uh, goddess courses, not goddess circles. Um, and it was basically a combination of things. So one of the things that I asked was, what day of the week works better for you? Mondays or Fridays? And I, and I specifically wanted to select Mondays and Fridays because in magical traditions, Monday is the day of the moon, which is a feminine planet, and Friday is the day of Venus also a feminine planet. Um, <coughs> pardon me. <clears throat> a little bit of seltzer. Black cherry flavored seltzer. I must admit, as much as I love soda, I've come to enjoy drinking flavored seltzers. Oh, Bost, you're so cute. 
Bast is the newest feline goddess of the household, as many of you know. Anyway, so, um, I was divinely guided to give it, a, give, basically ask these, the recipients of this initial email, like, what works better for you? Of course, it's a simulcast event, so um, people will have the opportunity to participate in person. They will have the, the opportunity to participate via the live online streaming video. And of course, they will have the opportunity to participate in the Goddess Circle after the video is archived. So you have options. You have many options. Um, I'm very excited about this because um, the Great Goddess has given me a divine abundance of ideas with regards to leading these Great Goddess Circles. Um, so many ideas, I can't even begin to list them all. Um, there will be no shortage of, of ideas, no shortage of goddesses to work with. Uh, and what I love most about the goddess circles, or what I love most about these upcoming great goddess circles, is that with every great goddess circle, I will pull a card from either a goddess-themed tarot deck or a goddess-themed oracle card deck. And we're going to work with that goddess via guided meditation. Um, I, I really love that. And that's one of the things that's most appealing to me. Well, the whole thing is appealing to me. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited about how, um, how many ideas have come to me. Um, and I know that one of the things we're going to be working on in 2020 is we're going to have uh, focused great goddess circles. For example, um, one great goddess circle, we're going to focus on goddesses of creativity and the arts. One great goddess circle will focus just on goddesses of healing. One particular great goddess circle will be just on goddesses of prosperity and abundance and wealth and opulence. Another one will be on a specific aspect of the goddess, whether it's the maiden aspect, the mother aspect, the crone aspect, the warrioress aspect, the priestess aspect. So there's, there's no shortage of, of great goddess circle ideas that have come to me. Um, and it's, it's almost overwhelming, actually, um, how much, how many ideas have come to me. But I will have plenty of material from which to draw. Um, although I did ask the recipients of this initial email what they want to see and what they want to get out of it. So um, I'm really looking forward to this. By the time this video is uploaded and published, uh, it will have an accompanying Eventbrite page and an accompanying blog post on my professional metaphysically oriented WordPress blog, This Is Who I Am. Although, for the record, I did begin working on both the blog post and the Eventbrite page more than a month ago. So, there's not much that I need to do with both. Um, the only change that's taken place um, is that certain things have changed. Uh, the blog post will list everything. Um, and I do recommend visiting the blog post to get all the information. Of course, of course, of course. Please know that at any time any of you can either submit a comment with any questions you have, or you can email me directly at thetarotman at excite.com. Uh, the description box will have my email address, uh, so will the, um, the Eventbrite page, and also, um, also the WordPress blog post. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I will share something, but I'm not going to share all the details. And that is that for the, for the participants of the very first Great Goddess Circle, each of them will receive a very special gift. Now, um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but let's just say that I've already purchased two of them for two confirmed participants. Um, I need to purchase another one for the third confirmed participant. Um, I believe she's confirmed. I'm not sure. I have to recheck. But um, I know that she's interested. And I'm looking forward to um, buying that gift 
I'm looking forward to uh, all the other gifts I'm going to buy. Um, and if you're wondering, I've also given myself a similar gift. A few, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that. So, um, there really isn't much else that I can say about the Great Goddess Circles. I, I am excited that I'm going to facilitate them. Uh, I think the time has come. Uh, I'm happy that I'm no longer believing that it's not, I'm no longer caught up in this nonsensical illusion that people are not going to participate in a goddess circle led by a man. Um, I'm very happy that I've experienced a lot of soul growth these last few months that have helped prepare me for these great goddess circles. Um, as you can imagine, I already own quite a number of goddess-themed tarot decks and oracle card decks. And I have since discovered, um, I've actually since discovered, I want to say one goddess-themed tarot deck and one or two goddess-themed oracle card decks. Um, in fact, the one of the two goddess-themed oracle card decks I discovered by accident. Uh, so I'm looking forward to acquiring that one. And there is a goddess-themed oracle card deck that is currently... Um, well, it's, on, it's safe to say that it's been missing in action for a while. Now, for the record, my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos knows what the cover looks like. Um, one would think I live in the Taj Mahal, uh, the original one, you know, the one in India. Because it's like, I mean, I live in a one-bedroom apartment, and yet there are times when I cannot find things. I'm like, really? This is a one-bedroom apartment. This is not the Taj Mahal. I should be able to find something at any time. But, whatever. Now, for the record, as far as music, I really haven't been listening to a lot of music lately. But, one of the books that I've been spending time with lately, and I'm going to make sure that my awesome audiovisual person does a close-up, is called Basic Witches. And, um, it's funny because this book was one that I was divinely guided to use with my current private magic um, my current private magic student. Um, and it's so funny because when my intuition led me to this book, I was like, really? Okay. Um, it's, it's kind of... I don't know. It's, I, I, I still have mixed feelings about the book. So let me give you the full title, Basic Witches, How to Summon Success, Banish Drama, and Raise Hell with Your Coven, by Jaya Saxena and Jess Zimmerman. Now, I'm sure that Ms. Saxena and Ms. Zimmerman are wonderful witches, um, but every time I look at this book, it's like, okay, you know? But it does have some really good articles and some really great rituals. And I'm not in the habit of questioning my divine guidance and my intuition. If my intuition is leading me to something, there's a reason for it. So this is the book that I'm working with, with my current private magic student. Um, and I do enjoy the book for the most part. Um, I like the book for the most part. But it's like, nah, you know. But again, my intuition led me to this book for a reason, and that's all there is to it. Interestingly enough, I had seen the book in um, Catland, and I had seen the book in um, two Manhattan locations of Barnes & Noble booksellers. But I wound up purchasing the book at a place called, and yes, this place does exist, it's called Books Are Magic. It's an independent bookseller in Brooklyn. And it's so funny because um, I happened to be going that night to, um, well actually both my awesome audiovisual person and I had gone to see a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream with the Smith Street Stage Theatre Company, also based in Brooklyn, specifically Carroll Park, Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. And I remember we had had dinner um, at a local diner first, and then we're walking down uh, to the park, and I see books are magic, and I'm like, well, there's no way I'm gonna, like, walk by this bookstore. 
the bookstore is lovely, by the way. And they have tote bags, which, you know, I'm a bit of a bag whore. Well, I'm a bit of a bag whore, book whore, tarot deck whore, oracle card deck whore, designer label whore, and the list goes on and on. Okay, YouTube, as always, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do. And may the great goddess and her beloved angels lovingly and lavishly bless all of you and yours with love and light, prosperity and peace. And good night.